it's the Chow Chin Chow's Chase V8 Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Gold Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on Misty and received our 13th gym badge. Three more to go. We are here in Vermilion City because we are about to go to uh, we are about to go through Diglett's Cave on the way to Pewter City. Because in the last episode we dealt with the Snorlax as well. That was blocking our way. This is Diglett's Cave. We can get a new encounter here. Wait, hang on. I've just remembered we need cuts. God damn it. I just remembered there's a cut bush there. I think there's another there's a cut bush between Pewter, but there's another cut bush if we want to go through the gatehouse. So literally, we are stuck in the middle of a gate, and we are stuck. So for the moment in time, Lavender, you can go in the box. Lisa, come with me, please. I need you. You are becoming like the most important uh, HM slave that we have because you have cut. And yes, even now, but 13 badges into a game that has 16 badges, I still need cut. I mean, surf, strength. Waterfall. These are TMs that don't, uh, how I uh, mean rock climb. These are TMs I don't mind. Fly I like to. But cut rock smash. Uh, cut rock smash flash the fog. All these TMs can go away. Actually, I'd kind of like the fog to come back as a move to the move. It's because I feel like it would be very, very useful for people who do Wi-Fi. Really? Really game with the one turn wake ups so that I don't even get any damage done to the Pokemon by a nightmare? Well, you're level 19, and that dig did nothing. Wake up, I mean, go to sleep. Now, if you would, would you mind staying asleep for a few turns so I can do some damage with you, uh, to you with Nightmare? Because that's probably the only thing that can actually do damage to you. Now I can throw balls. Come on with me, Digital Trio. Yep, okay. Stay asleep then. Do some more damage with Nightmare. You know the rules. Come on with me. I mean, I just found out some bad news. Uh, the um, the Fire Red episode I released last night, uh, Fire Red 39, uh, sadly did not get put up in HD. Now, that could be a YouTube thing where it never processed into HD. Or it could be me who forgot to render the videos in HD. Usually I remember this stuff, but, you know... Sometimes I don't remember this stuff. I don't remember to uh, rent, make sure my video is rendered in HD. Most of the time it usually just is. I may have just forgot uh, this time, and I'm sorry about that, guys. It's just a slip of the mind. You know what it is? I'm only human after all. As the song goes. 
So don't put the blame. Well, you can you can actually put the blame on me this time because well you could. I mean I don't know. It could be a YouTube thing and it just didn't process into HD, or I didn't render it properly. And I'm sorry. I always try and make sure my videos are at least uh, at least in 720p. It's three heads bob separately up and down to loosen the soil nearby, making it easier for them to burrow. Yay! I haven't... Um, I don't know what to call you. Really don't know what to call you. Um I'm gonna call you Dig Duck. So I'm really sorry about that guys, um, the next episode, episode 40, I'll make sure is rendered in HD. Hi, uh, wow, I'm glad to see you, uh, you're the first visitor I've had in a long time. I'm super happy, let me give you this little present. Hey, I received a nugget, thank you mate. It's a nugget. It can't... It can't give you any nuggets of wisdom. It'll just have to do. Oh, you're the nugget man. I like you. I like you. You're the nugget man who said, who asks, uh, you know, who says about nuggets of wisdom and stuff like that. Okay, so this is route two. I love the um, I love the music here. That's a Pikachu! That's a new encounter! That's a new encounter, I kind of want it. It's level 4, so it's not great. We can try, eh? Let's see what we get. One, two, three. Yay, we caught the Pikachu. The mouse Pokemon. This intelligent mouse root, roosts, roosts hard berries with its uh, electricity. Roasts hard berries with its electricity to make them easier to eat. I usually call my Pikachu's John Cena, but since you know this is not. A, this is... I'm going to call you Nikki. After his girlfriend, Nikki Bella. Okay, so I'm here in Pewter City! Yay, Pewter City! I can go and get lavender out the box. Because I don't need my cutter anymore. Lisa, go away. Oh, lavender's in box three. Yeah, that's right.
There we go. Now we have Lavender. I think Nutmeg will probably be the Pokemon I use in the gym today. Maybe a bit of Joe, but really it's going to be Nutmeg's gym. So let's go and do it. Let's do it. Let's do a gym right now. Hey yo, champ in the making. You're really rocking. Are you battling? The gym leader in Kanto? They're strong, dedicated people, just like the Joro gym leaders. Yes, they are, Clyde. And yes, I am. Let's see what we can do against Brock. And Camper Jerry. And his Sand Slash. And then we'll also face Silver today, too. This is not the last battle we'll have with Silver, because, uh, uh, this is the sort of optional last battle you can have with Silver if you go through Mount Moon. But it's, uh, there's another one if you go to the Pokemon League on Mondays and Wednesdays and you can battle them again there. Wow, it's not often that we get challenges from Jodo and Brock, the Puny City Gym Leader. I'm an expert of Rock type Pokemon. My Pokemon are. are important. I'm impervious to most physical attacks. Sure, I have a hard time inflicting any damage on them. Come on! Well, your rock types don't like grass now, do they, Brock? And they also don't like ice, and they also especially don't like water. Especially wet water. They don't like that too. So. You're going to have some trouble with me. Because I have so I have solutions for you. I think I might try and face um, uh, the last gym with everyone at level 55. Even though the highest uh, is level 58, I don't think I'll have too much to worry about when it comes down to it, hopefully. I mean, the one thing I'm going to have to worry about is his Gyarados. And my strategy should be to deal with it. Um, the same strategy as always. Lover, put it to sleep. Nightmare, Ice Punch. or Psychic, and just go to town on it. Because it's worked in previous battles, and it will work again. It's like, it's just the best solution to anything that I don't have, I don't want to worry about. I love the fact that this is gonna be Friday's, oh wait, no, wait, this would be S Sunday's episode? You're stronger than I expected. Go and take the batch. We received the boulder badge from Brock. Joe, thanks. I enjoyed our battle. Even though I'm a bit uh, upset. The boulder badge is yours. And will make your Pokemon more powerful. Thank you, Brock. And that's Pewter done with. Well, actually, there's one more thing in Pewter I need to do, uh, uh, get. There should be a per. Yeah, you. You're. You. Hello. Ah, you came all this way out here from Jodo. That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Jodo to train. 
You remind me of um, of what I once was. I was like a young man. Here, I want you to have this item that I found in Chiro. A silver wing! That will allow us to get Lugia. Something I would definitely do because, um, you know, Lugia is a really cool Pokemon and I really want it. I don't know if I'd be using it on the team, but definitely having that in Ultras on the Moon would be amazing. So, yeah, we'll make an episode where we go after Lugia. As part of Season 2. But for now, we're heading on our road. Uh, we're heading to, um... We're heading to Mount Moon. That's where we are heading. Because uh, we're going to go and face our rival for the final time. At Mount Moon. There's another rival battle if we can, you know, get to the Pokemon League. But this is the first, uh, this is the first rival battle of the Kanto series, and the second to last battle you ever have to face. Of the right, the second to last rival battle you have to face. If you, I mean, it's totally optionable. You don't actually have to face this battle, but I want to. I want to face this battle. want to face this battle, you know what I mean? I want to face him. I want to face my rival. And he's a good rival and I should want to face him. And I might try and get Nick in again for the final battle. Not this one, but like the next one. Okay, so this is Route 3. I get an encounter here. That's a Spearow. That's not new. But I can get things like Jigglypuff here. And that's something I would actually like. So, Jigglypuff, please. No, that's Spearow. You don't seem to understand that I already have a Spearow. Give you three more attempts. No, that's still a Spearow. You not understanding? I already have a Spearow game. Run away. Round four. Jigglypuff. Now, I don't think I can do any damage to you, especially since now I've uh, paralyzed you. But I don't think I need to do any damage to you. I shouldn't need to do damage to you. You should get in the ball. You're level 6. This is an ultra ball. That's right, get in it. It inflate if it inflates to sing a lullaby, it can perform longer and cause drowsiness in its abs in abundant in an, its audience. All right, cool. We have Singer. Ooh, a fire breather. 
That's not a fire type. Again, you fire previous don't seem to understand what's a fire type and what's not a fire type. Allow me to teach you. This is not a fire type. That's a fire type. That's a fire type. It's probably one of the worst fire types you could have chosen. But it's a fire type. I mean, at least you've learnt your lesson. Hey, Nick. It's been a while, Joe. Since uh, I lost you, I thought about what I was lacking uh, with my Pokemon, and we came and we came up with an answer. Joe, I will now show you. Show me your answer. Why is it every time I fight you, I keep on forgetting you have a Sneasel? I mean, that. No, 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 not. No, I have a solution for your Sneasel now. I just, I never remember you have a Sneasel, that's all. The screech is annoying, but I can deal with I can deal with that. And the fire should kill. And I can switch out. And Weavile still isn't a thing. Gold bat. Uh, Joe, get back in here, please. Oh, Confused Ray's annoying. Confused Ray's annoying. Joe, would you mind sparking him, please? Thank you, Joe. This should kill. And it does. Okay. Magnetar. Oh, it's too soon. It's too soon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Super Shock. I really am. Oh, it means shocks. I'm sorry, Shocks. I really am. A Gengar. Ooh, that's a bit dangerous. I guess my best solution is Lover. And go for the Psychics. Nice crit, Lover! Red Room goes to level 54. Alakazam. Uh, anyone with a physical attack would probably be pretty good here. I'm going to go into Nutmeg and return on it. Yeah, that should kill it. Because you don't like physical attacks. And Typhlosion. Now, I don't think you would have taught your Pokemon Earthquake. You shouldn't have taught your Pokemon Earthquake. You don't get it at my level up. So the best situation is Joe. Thank you. 
your highest is for you fuck. This is your starter, so this is your highest Pokemon. And this should kill. Level 52 for Joe. I thought I raised my Pokemon to be uh, the best they could, but there still wasn't enough. You won fair and square. I'll admit it, but this isn't over. I'm going to be the greatest trainer ever because those guys are behind me. Listen, Joe. One of these days, I'm going to prove how good I am by beating you. You keep saying that, Nick. You keep saying that. That's how you believe in yourself. Never give up. No, I already have a sand true. I know you have a Machop, and I already have a Geodude. The only thing I could run into here would be Clefairy. So, let's see what happens. No, I already have a Paris as well. Seriously, the only thing I could run into here is Clefairy. So, if you want to give me that game, I wouldn't mind. No, no I already have a Zubat too. Give me Clefairy. Give me Mount Moon. You get one more try. You get one more try at this. Nope, that's a Chew, dude. I mean, it's something different than you've already shown me, all the amazing Pokemon you've already shown me. But it's still not right. I was not aware of the fact that this had a different uh, uh, music. Okay, so here I could buy repels, uh, mail, uh, and soda pop flame, uh, soda pop fresh water, and M uh, lemonades. If you come here on a Monday night, you can run into a load of Clefairy and they give you a moonstone as they do their Luna dance. And that's Mount Moon. I guess I'll work my way back round to uh, Vermilion. Uh, no, Cerulean. Really? You have a level 12 Pokemon? The Game Freak not touch you? No, Game Freak touched you. Game Freak touched you. You just somehow also have a level 12 Pidgey as well. I don't know how that works out. But Game Freak did do stuff with you. Because you do have a level 34 Pidgeot. So Game Freak must have touched you in some way. Just wasn't right. Um, just wasn't right. Or they didn't do enough to. Or they didn't do enough to fix you.
die. Yeah, you go and train some more. I found the HP up. Damn it, I can't carry any more items. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end off today's episode because we made it back to Subrulean City. In the next episode, we will continue on. Uh, I will fly back to Pewter off screen and we'll probably continue on towards uh, Viridian City, uh, Pallet Town, and Cinnabar Island in the next episode. That's probably where we're going to go. So until next time. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. But I'm Josh Games, and I am out. See you again.